Hello and welcome to Unzi Talks, One Great Book in Two Short Minutes. The book I'm talking about right now is Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. And this book might uh, sound familiar to you. It's extremely popular right now. It is nonfiction and it is this mix between memoir and action research, as I like to say. So J.D. Vance does what I would call I-search, or research as me-search. He tells the story of his upbringing, and he also goes, takes a deep dive into his own family history and tells the story of his family's origins um, between the states of Ohio and Kentucky. And he, in doing so, also then gets curious and reaches back and reaches out and finds other sources um, that help to inform his understanding not only of himself but of the culture he inhabits. And so I think that two reasons that I would really value this book and two reasons that I would recommend it it are, number one, the reflection of real life within it. Um, J.D. Vance became extremely popular um, as kind of the voice of the Rust Belt in America, air quotes there, um, when this book first came out as kind of the personification of so many of the issues that people are discussing in America today about the economy, about job security, or, you know, other issues of that type. So the reflection of real life is definitely in here. And also the significant insights. And I don't just mean significant insights that I gain as a result of reading the book, um, but also the significant insights that the author himself gains about himself as he's writing the book. So if you like books like um, Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers would be one, um, and if you also like books like uh, The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, it's almost like this book is a little bit of both of those because J.D. Vance became very successful and came from these humble origins. So, um, and you would think never the twins shall meet, but they do in this book. So highly recommend, if it appeals to you, add it to your read next list. And until next time.